if we're going to answer the question, are we alone? I think Mars in our planetary realm is going to be the body that will answer that. I truly believe that it's going to have to have humans uh, to go there and do that. I want some astrobiologists on the surface of Mars doing their thing. Okay, that's what I want. <laughs> I worked for NASA for 42 years, and I had an opportunity to end up being the head of planetary science from 2006 to 2018. In those 12 years, I, I was involved in more than two dozen missions, and many of them were Mars missions. MAVEN measures how much of the oxygen is being stripped by the solar wind. Fundamental importance to get us the idea of how the planet is evolved. Curiosity is going to give us a hundred million year in the past what's going on and with sample analysis you see the composition. What's the composition? Well, we see carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. That is everything between my two fingers. Mars has got what it needs to have life, maybe like us, or different. Perseverance Another one of my really wonderful missions is not only coring that rock, but it had a helicopter. Who would have thought we could fly on a planet that had less than a percent of our own atmosphere? NASA's plan in the long run is to go live and work on Mars. Now how they're going to do that is actually learning how to live and work on the moon first. And so we are just a handful of years in our lifetime, we're going to be on the moon. In our lifetime, we're going to have moon bases. In the meantime, the planetary scientists are going to complete the process of understanding Mars enough to then solve where we're going to land. We're going to go to one place, probably for at least 100 years. We call that location the exploration zone. It's about a 200 kilometer diameter area we're gonna land in one place. We're gonna live in another place. We've got fantastic science things that we wanna do all around this exploration zone. And in that exploration zone are all kinds of resources. Water, we wanna get at frozen water. We wanna be able to bring it in and melt it. And in minerals, we wanna be able to bring in a variety of minerals to create things, even to the point of creating medicines even to the point of using them in 3D printers. And so the, the mineralogy of the area and the toxicity of the soils and how we will grow food and what we will do, all that has to factor into an exploration zone. It seems fantasy still, right? <laughs> there are a number of things that we still haven't completely got to the point of overcoming but the preponderance of our missions have gotten to be more and more sophisticated as a function of time. And, and, and our knowledge, therefore, becomes more and more expansive. That's gonna really facilitate human exploration of the planet. And what NASA's pioneered over these last many decades is just part of what our, our future is going to be like as we continue to explore the red planet.